ladies and gentlemen good day and welcome to the jay kumar infra projects limited q3 and 9 months fy23 earnings conference call as a reminder all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there'll be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes should you need assistance during the conference call please signal an operator by pressing star and then zero on your touchstone phone please note that this conference is being recorded before we begin a brief disclaimer the presentation which jay kumar infra projects has uploaded on the stock exchange and their website including the discussions during this call contain or may contain certain forward looking statements concerning jay kumar infra projects business prospects and profitability which is subject to several risks and uncertainties and the actual result could mater- materially differ from those in such forward looking statements I now hand the conference over to Mr. Kamal Gupta, MD, Jay Kumar Infra Projects Limited. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Jay Kumar Infra Projects, I welcome everyone to the Q3 and Q9 month FY23 earning conference call by the company. And joining me on this call is Mr. Madan Biyani, our CFO, Arvind Gupta, VP Taxation, and our IR team, and Mr. Nalin Gupta. Uh, md of jay kumar uh, i hope everyone has an opportunity to look at our results the presentation and press release have been uploaded on the stock exchanges uh, and our company's website we are excited to deliver another quarter of healthy performance with stable ebitda margins and debt levels we are witnessing strong execution momentum across all our projects and are focused to create value to all our stakeholders Uh, we are honored to have played our part in epc construction of metro uh, mumbai metro part uh, project 2a and line 7 compromising of 35 kilometers of wider than 30 stations constructed into phases the project was recently dedicated to mumbai cars by honorable uh, shri uh, narendra modi ji our pm secondly we have also opened the kalwa bridge which is at thane uh, on 30th november 2022 we also received appointment date of vadodara mumbai expressway project on 19 jan uh, 2023 further we are in process of constructing a further 61 kilometers of metro rail network across india the recent union budget with highest ever capital outlay of 10 lakh crore clearly reiterates government's focus towards building a world class infrastructure in the country the multiplier effect which the infrastructure sector plays is in uh, overall economic growth has been emphasized jay kumar with its execution track record and sound financial health will be clear beneficiary to the of the government's continuous impetus coming to the performance highlights of q3 fy23 the revenue from operations for q3 fy23 has gone up by 10% to 1062 crores as compared to 966 crores in q3 of fy22 the operating margin that is abita for q3 Uh, FY23 stood at 152 crores as compared to 139 crores of the preceding year. The EBITDA margins for Q3 uh, stood at 14.3 percent. Uh, the PBT for Q3 has gone up by 17 percent to 97 crores as compared to 82 crores of the preceding year. Uh, and the PBT margins stood at 9.1 percent as compared to 8.5 in Q3 of FY22. The PAC for Q3 FY23 uh, grew by 21% to 71 crores as compared to 59 crores in Q3 FY22. PAC margins for Q3 FY23 stood at 6.7% as compared to 6.1% in Q3 FY22. Coming to the performance highlights of nine months ending FY23, revenue from operations for the nine months has gone up. by 27% to 3069 crores as compared to 2413 crores in the preceding year the abita for 9 months stood at 438 crores as compared to 345 crores of the previous year uh, pbt has for the 9 month has gone up by 53% to 273 crores as compared to 179 crores of the previous year and the pac for 9 month of fy23 has gone up by 52% to 201 crores as compared to 132 crores uh, of the previous year uh, our order book total order book as on 31st december 22 stands at 11209 crores the order book uh, includes metro projects elevated and underground contributing to 52% while flower bridges roads contribute to 
34 percent, and the others contributing to 14 percent. Well, we are optimistic on India growth amidst the continuing global geopolitical uh, uncertainty. Before taking the Q&A, I would like to reiterate the vision of the company. One uh, with strong financial and technical merit, we are becoming one billion revenue company by FY27. Our endeavor is to reduce gross debt level to in minimum terms, and the objective is continuously in, to improve shareholders' return ratio by investing in people, technology, and process. Thank you so much. Thank you. We will now begin the question answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on your text tone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. We have the first question from the line of Mohit Kumar from Dam Capital. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Hi, good afternoon, sir, and thanks for the opportunity. So my first question on the order inflow guidance, if I remember correctly, I think the order inflow guidance given was 5,000 crore, and till date we have done 1,600 crore, if, I, if my numbers are correct. Uh, so, how do you see Q4? You know, Q4 in general, and also can you comment on some some orders from there were some uh, orders on Chennai Metro, which is expecting to get finalized. I think nothing has come so far as of now, right? Well, so Mohit, uh, in the case of uh, the uh, order book, we have done an uh, order book of 1680 crores, uh, as you rightly say, and we have also backed in uh, additional. Uh, order for as uh, the variation for our Delhi project which is uh, 500 crore so the uh, which we received recently so altogether this will uh, this takes it to something like uh, 2200 crores and the order book as of today stands at 11200 crores including that 500 crore uh, variation order that we have received so uh, that is the current status and with regards to Chennai Metro the date of submission has been extended so we are awaiting the fresh dates uh, when the bid will be submitted, and we have also uh, we are already at the uh, uh, at the verge of uh, the final submission for two tenders for uh, MC, uh, MCGM, which is one of uh, the Goregaon Mulund Link Road and the other of uh, the Daisar Coastal Road, which is 3,000 crore and 7,000 crore approximately. So close to like 10,000 crore approximate orders that we are going to bid for. So, uh, uh, so that is again a very, uh, we will be very uh, keen on that project. And again, there are various orders that are coming up um, to the tune of around 11,600 crores that we have, that we have already bidded. So, and out of which we are also L1 in one uh, tender of PST2, which is again a uh, sewerage uh, tunnel for NCGM. And uh, so the, uh, the order pipeline looks to be quite strong. So in Q3, we should be able to achieve the target given by us, uh, Q4, what we have mentioned, and maybe one month here and there if there is any change. So we are maintaining the guidance of 50 billion, right, for the entire year, right? Yeah. And so, and so, and so on, on the, the Q1 also, uh, like, you know, maybe because of the processes. Understood, yeah, understood. That's, that's obvious. Sir. So well, one thing was on the Daisar Coastal Road and Godwander Mulun Road, do we expect this to, to happen Goregaon in Q4? Goregaon Mulun Link Road. Oh, yeah, go, sorry, go, Goregaon Mulun Link Road and Daisar Coastal Road, do you think uh, both of this can get finalized in Q4? I will just spill over to Q1. Yeah, yeah. It should be uh, Q3, uh, Q3 uh, Q4. Uh, we can also go to April. That is Q1. Okay. So bid submission happened or you are still awaiting? So there is a extension which is as of now the submission date is 10, uh, 10th of uh, uh, February. So uh, there are some minor uh, internal changes happening in the department for scope. So that's how uh, the tender is getting uh, delayed for a uh, week or so. And sir, on the 116 billion, uh, 11,600 crore where the bids have been submitted, 
uh, what are the kind of projects uh, they, they are? Are they especially in Maharashtra or they are across Pan India? Can you just throw some, uh, give some color? They are across Pan India. It's not only in Maharashtra. So we put it something in Bihar, uh, um, Bangalore, it? Bangalore, Pune, and Mumbai. Maharashtra also. Und understood, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Best of luck, sir. Thank you. We have the next question on the line of Rahil Shah from Crown Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, sir. Just a question about the guidance for the next financial year. Oh. In terms of Mr. Rahil Shah, your audio is very low. Could you go off the speakerphone and come closer to the microphone? Hello. Is it audible? Yes, this is better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just uh, asking about the guidance, if you can provide something in terms of revenue growth and EBITDA margins for the next financial year, how does it look? I see your order book is quite strong, so can we maintain these numbers? Yeah, so the, uh, what do you say? The guidance for this year, like you know, we'll be mostly surpassing our guidance of 4,000 crores what we have given for FY23. So uh, we feel it will be around 4,000 to 4,200 crores and uh, we'll be able to maintain the similar beta margins of 14 to 15 percent. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. We have the next question on the line of Parth Kotak from Alpha Plus Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Congratulations on a good set of numbers. Uh, sir, you talked about in your comments uh, before the con call about a billion dollar target. Uh, what kind of capex do we envision to do to reach this target and what kind of gross block should we look at, you know, an approximate uh, ballpark number that you would have in mind? So around, for this year. so around 100 to 150 crore uh, of capex, that uh, incremental capex as well as some new for uh, the existing maintenance of the existing machineries and for uh, some for buying the new ones. So 100 to 150 crore is what we are expecting. And uh, and all, it would also depend upon the geography and to uh, in which area we back the order. So depending on that, uh, the capex would vary. But uh, and also like uh, one is geography and the other is nature of work. Right. So, right. So your, uh, uh, Mr. Kotak, it is like you know 100 to 150 crores of capex we will be incurring every year. So like you know for that uh, one billion dollar, it is by 27, it will be like for this three years, and it will be for three years. Yeah. Right, so say 500 crores of capex, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. <clears throat> and secondly, sir, uh, I also want to understand your thought process. I, is my understanding correct that in terms of qualifications for the projects that you're bidding, you're up there in the sense we've done so many prestigious projects. So uh, in terms of qualifications, there should be no uh, uh, there should be no stoppage. So then why can't we achieve this billion dollar top line slightly earlier? I'm saying <laughs> by FI27 is also a great uh, target to achieve. But I'm saying there are infra companies who, you know, probably have this problem of qualification for bidding for large orders, which shouldn't be seem to be the case in our uh, company. So we always believe in giving a figure which is more realistic and the growth that we look for is a, st a stable growth for our company because we uh, always, if you uh, look at the financial numbers of Jay Kumar, you will see that we have been growing at a CAGR of almost like uh, 16 to 17 percent for the last five years. And uh, looking at this, I think uh, 2007, uh, 27 is more realistic number. And of course, with the amount of uh, the projects that have uh, been planned by the government, if it happens earlier, uh, always it's, a, it's on the good side. But 2027 is more realistic what we, would, what we are trying to uh, put it here. Perfect, sir. Perfect. That's all from my side, and thank you for taking my questions. Thank you. Thank you. Participants who wish to ask a question may press star and one on your touchstone telephone. We have the next question from the line of Raj. Ratnas, please go ahead. Looking at your FY24, how will be the sales look like? Uh, looking at the strong execution you have. <clears throat> yeah, so like uh, there will be a growth of like, you know, 15%. Uh, this is what we have uh, said before also. So mm -hmm. for FI24 also, like, uh, there will be growth of 15% from the existing number. All right, yeah. Thanks. That's it. Thank you. We have the next question on the line of Aman Agarwal, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello. 
not on immediate basis mr uh, aman we don't have any buyback plan on immediate basis but like uh, let's see how it goes and any plan to increase up to 20000 crores and what is the timeline to achieve 20000 crore order book yeah so like you know when we have said that we want to be a billion dollar revenue company by f27 we also emphasize that by that time our order book will be minimum 20000 crores Okay, so it will be uh, majority of the metro project only coming up. We expect that it it can happen uh, in a, in uh, one to two years uh, timeline. We should be able to achieve this uh, twenty thousand crore order book also. But as you, uh, we always uh, like to emphasize, J Kumar likes to book order always with uh, margins that are uh, that we have been maintaining. So bagging orders and taking your order book on a higher side. is i don't think a big challenging job but uh, if you take orders of the uh, right uh, uh, you know i would say technically expertise job expertise job and where you can make margins what we have been making of 14 to 15% is something which is what we are looking at so uh, already sitting at an order book uh, of uh, 11000 crore plus to back 9000 crore order at the right time and at, at the right location is what we are looking at and uh, we are very hopeful that in a year or so time we should be able to uh, come very uh, reach this uh, 20000 crore uh, order book target so majority of the project will be metro project only or it will be a uh, diversification of metro and road and flyovers irrigation project so as of now if you see we are at 54% approximately is the order book and revenue uh, 50 to 55% that comes in from uh, metro sector so we expect uh, looking at the huge amount of metro works and the real jobs that has been planned by uh, in the current budget as well we should be able to it could be like a 53% sort of uh, mixture that we should be having in the order book okay thank you sir and good luck for the upcoming quarter thank you very much thank you we have the next question on the line of bhavin an investor please go ahead Congratulations for the good set of numbers, sir. Uh, just a quick question on the debt position as on December. If you can elaborate on that, and a follow-up question would be on the return ratios. I'm sure on an annualized basis, if you can throw some light on that as well. I guess your first question was regarding debt. Right, sir. At 450 crores, uh, 54 crore to be precise, uh, is the current debt with a debt equity uh, ratio of around 0.2. gross debt and uh, what was your second question i couldn't get to so if you can related question was on the return ratio on annualized basis uh, roe on roce so roe uh, roe has been 12.7% uh, as on uh, december 22 uh, visa vis uh, 10.4% as on march 22 there has been increase of uh, 2.3% in uh, uh, roe and uh, uh, roce has been approximately 17.8% in uh, as of 9th month uh, fy22 vis a vis 15.5% as on fy22 so there is also an increase of almost 2.5% okay thank you so much sir that's fine thank you we have the next question on the line of prem khurana from anand rati shares please go ahead thank you for taking my question sir and congratulations on good set of numbers uh, sir i think i mean when we interacted the last time during the q2 result call uh, we had bid pipeline of almost around 30000 odd crore rupees uh, but when i look at the way it's been for us in this quarter we could have only one project of almost around 320 odd crores so possible to share what happened with the balance 27000 odd crore rupees of order backlog whether i mean the the, the bids are yet to be opened or we couldn't have success with uh, some of these or 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 these are yet to be kind of bred out if you could help us understand the competitive intensity is what basically i want to understand so mr prem the bid pipeline what we said of 30000 crores yeah. so all the tenders have not come for tendering stage so they are like into in the process you know so whatever tender has come like as we told 11000 crores we already bid it for so rest are in process and like you know we'll be quoting in this coming quarter Uh, as they are like matured. 
Sure. And so any comments on competitive intensity? How is the competitive intensity? I mean, we've had some bids in Chennai and all, and we participated, but we couldn't have success. So does it mean uh, the competition is getting aggressive, or there was by chance that someone else could have and we couldn't have it in our favor? So competition has always been there. It's not that it's not there, but you know we quote our numbers with a bit of margins, like fourteen to fifteen thousand, and try to get it. So like. We had, of course, missed that Kochi work with a very close margin. So, yes, uh, yes. but there are many more to come, Mr. Prem. So there is no issues. So competition sure. is existing very much in the market, and uh, the specialized jobs which are there. So we try to focus on that. National highway, you can see that there are the amount of competition is pretty high. So yes. we keep bidding at our price, but uh, we are very hopeful that to uh, achieve the order book that we are targeting. uh maybe one quarter year and there but we will be able to achieve the target that we are looking at very comfortably sure and so on this 11000 crore rupees of number that we were bid for uh, could you break it down in your segments I and mean, how much would be metro and how much would be your uh, other segments I mean, like fly over bridges or civil so metro is uh, considering to around only uh, 1000 1500 so majorly your uh, other flowers okay. and bridges sure Okay, okay. And just uh, some bookkeeping question. If you, if you could help me with, please. I mean, uh, how much is the capex that we've incurred during the nine months, or let's say Q3? Sorry, come back, Mr. Prem. Capex, capital expenditure that you would have incurred during Q3 or nine months, whatever is readily available with you. Our capex for like nine months is hundred and fifteen crores. Okay. And like you know, for this quarter, it was fifty-four crores. Sure. We are looking for as we uh, guided like you know 150 crores uh, on the year end, which includes this 115 crores. Uh, so another 35 odd crores. What else? Like we have order for one TBM which is costing around 50 crores additional. Okay. Okay. Sure. And sir, so, uh, uh, could you please help me with the bookkeeping number? I mean, in terms of mobilization advances, trade receivables, uh, tables, inventories. Mobilization advances has been uh, uh, to the tune of 560 crores as on uh, December 23. Uh, and uh, about else, did you ask? Trade receivables and bill revenues. Uh, trade receivables has been uh, to the tune of 1190 crores uh, as of December 22, December 23, 22 is right. That's why 23. Sure. And unbill revenues, sir, how much would that number be? What? Unbuilt, unbuilt revenue. That has been uh, 546 crores uh, or so uh, as on December. Oh, okay. And sorry, one more last time. I mean, trade payable. If you could help me with it. Trade payable was in the tune of 598 crores uh, as of December. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thanks for all the very best for future. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Shravan Shah from Dolat Capital. Please go ahead. uh yeah uh, thank you sir uh, sir just uh, continuing the uh, previous questions uh, so uh, what is the inventory number and uh, retention money inventory i told you uh, work in progress uh, was 546 crores and uh, raw material inventory was 377 crores and trade payable as i told you 598 crores yeah uh, retention money Retention money uh, has been two hundred and thirty-eight crores uh, receivable. Oh, okay. Uh, got it. Uh, uh, so uh, two things. Uh, uh, first, uh, in terms of uh, for this year, so now the for the fourth quarter. So last time we were uh, uh, said that uh, we are looking at close to four thousand two hundred crore revenue for this year. So that means uh, uh, for the fourth quarter, uh, uh, we need. Uh, 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 maybe we will be looking at a degrowth. So, uh, can we see a, a slightly higher number uh, in terms of the uh, our guidance? So, can we see a 4,350, 4,400 crore kind of a revenue for this year? Yeah, Mr. Shravan, it's like you know, last year it was 11, uh, one, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
so it 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 will be just a two two and a half percent growth. So normally till now we have done a twenty seven percent this quarter. Twelve hundred will not be two percent growth. The last number was eleven hundred and fourteen. So twelve hundred will be around eighty five crores more. And will be around seven eight 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 percent or so. It will not be two percent. And if you see Shravan, like you know, year on year it will be around twenty percent growth. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, it's the year on year growth and not the quarterly. In some quarter you get billing uh, as more and less. So what is important is on the year basis what you are uh, making as the to total top line. So that will be twenty percent plus. Okay, got it, got it. So, and in terms of the working capital core, uh, uh, whatever the numbers you have said, so uh, broadly it uh, it remains the same at 78 odd days. So, uh, do we expect uh, uh, some improvement by year end, or uh, uh, will it remain at the same level? Yeah, there has been uh, continuous uh, our efforts to improve the working capital cycle. Uh, here also, if you see in comparison to last quarter, it's a minor increase by one or two days only. As on December, but by year end, uh, the cycle improves much better. Uh, the collection efficiency and all, and the, from the client payments and so. So we are on track, and we want to bring it out to 120 days. Okay, okay, uh, got it. Uh, uh, the other thing is uh, uh, that in uh, in terms of the date, also uh, 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 would like to remain at the same uh, current uh, five uh, 450 454 crore. So uh, or uh, do we see a, a, a 450 crore kind of a reduction by year end? So we will we are looking to maintain these debt levels around 450 to 500 crores, Mr. Shravan. Okay. Uh, uh, one more thing in terms of the when we said we are L1 in one uh, sewerage uh, tunnel uh, project from the MCGM. Uh, what's the value and when when can we see the uh, LOA? So it's a 420 crore approx job, and wherein Jay Kumar share is around 16 per uh, 60 60 percent. Uh, okay, so uh, we will be only doing a 60, or uh, it is uh, uh, for the uh, uh, technical qualification. We have taken a, 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 a bidder in the JV. So 60% is by J. Okay, okay, got it. And so apart from the 11,600 crore uh, uh, that we have bidded, uh, so this this entire in terms of opening the bids by by uh, March and uh, this entire will be uh, uh, open. Yes, more or less, it should be open by March. Okay, so any any specific big any any big project that you want to highlight, you mentioned a fifteen hundred crore is a metro, thousand uh, to fifteen hundred crore. So any other uh, big project that uh, uh, you want to highlight? No, it's, we will highlight you when we become L one, Mr. Shivan. Oh, okay, got it. So and, and apart from that. Uh, uh, What's the pipeline in terms of the by March and how much more uh, uh, we are planning to uh, uh, bid? So as we told, like you know, around uh, uh, thirty thousand crores. Sorry, sir. Bid, yeah, bid pipeline is as we said th around thirty thousand crores. So <laughs> eleven thousand is already done. So maybe another fifteen to twenty thousand crores uh, are in pipeline. So which may be bidded by Q1 uh, of the coming year. Something will be in March, uh, Q4, and some will be in Q1. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, got it. Uh, thank you, and all the best. Thank you, Shaman. Thank you. We have the next question from line of Ankit Babel from Shubham Ventures. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. And uh, uh, sorry, I joined late, so pardon me if I am asking a repetitive question. So two questions from my side. First was that uh, I read in uh, uh, some of the media reports. Uh, wherein uh, Jay Kumar was uh, disqualified in one of the uh, high-speed rail orders. So uh, that was a, a surprise to us. So just wanted to know uh, what was the reason and uh, why we got disqualified. So even the reasons are not being specified to us till now. So like, you know, since like uh, we have gone to the court, it is subsidized uh, for the moment. No matter, yeah. Achha, so uh, you have not been told the reasons, they just disqualified you. Yeah, so it's not been specified, so that's why we are in uh, court, so like the matter is subsidized for the moment. Okay, and second was uh, again on the order inflow side, uh, and in the first nine months uh, seems to be subdued in terms of inflows, and uh, our order book also has not been growing much uh, since last two, three years. I mean, stuck at those 11, 12,000 crores. 
So uh, what kind of inflows you are targeting uh, for this full year, including of what you have received in the first nine months? And on that base, what kind of inflows you are targeting next year? So if you see, Mr. Ankit, our uh, order book as of now is almost 2.7 to 3x of our revenue. So that mm -hmm. puts us in a comfortable position. But of course, uh, we are looking for a bigger inflow number. As we have guided, like, you know, okay, 5,000 crores inflow in FY23. So we have already uh -huh. procured around 2,200, uh, 2,100 plus uh, the L1, which will take it to 2,300. Plus, uh -huh. like, we have already bid it for some projects, and we are hopeful to achieve these numbers, uh, if not by uh, Q4, by uh, Q1 positively. Okay, next year, what you are targeting, sir, in close? So next year, again, we are targeting the sales of around 15% growth on the existing year. Uh, so, uh, like, you know, Minimum 5,000 crore, okay. 5, crore is what we are expecting to uh, bag orders for the next year as well. Also. Okay. 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 And you expect your uh, margins to remain in this 14-15% uh, level? See, there is a slowdown in the order book uh, booking because we don't want to compromise in terms of our order booking. There are a lot of opportunities, but we want to pick up orders at our price because we are not uh, right now at uh, a situation where we have to be desperate. Because as uh, Kamal has already mentioned, we have we are already at two and a half to three x uh, of the uh, revenue that we have been doing. So the order book mm -hmm. is quite comfortable, and we don't need to be desperate. So that's how we are uh, uh, bidding with the right margin, which is beneficial to the company in the long term. And I think, Mr. Ankit, if you see, there is sufficient opportunity for everybody. So everybody will get their piece of cake at the numbers what everybody is looking for. You know, this should not be a problem. Okay, so you're not worried on the inflow side, uh, even uh, considering the competition. No, sir. Absolutely not. Uh, okay, sir. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question. We'll line up. Parikshit Kanpal from HDFC Securities, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Hi, congratulations on a good quarter. So my first question is on the uh, these two large projects, the Coastal Road and uh, the GMLR. So these will be like how many packages will be there uh, in these two? There is a single package of GMLR which is costing around 6,500 crore approx. And uh, there are other two projects which have come up uh, of the similar size from uh, Thane to Borivali, which is costing around 7,200 crore each. They are again by uh, tunneling by TBM. So there are, and again, there is one more tender which has come from Orange Gate to Marine Lines. So there are road tunnels as well as metro projects and the road and flyover projects. There are n number of projects where uh, I think um, we should... Uh, get some uh, good share of uh, project that we are looking at. And what about the Dhanisar, sir? Dhanisar Coastal Road of 11,000, so, which you mentioned earlier. So, so Dhanisar Coastal Road is also there. It is in process, the bidding. So, like, you know, it should be done in this uh, this month or March maximum. So, see, my question is basically, uh, these are such large orders. Even if you get one order of this size, 6,000 or 7,000 crores, so, in the past, we have done that in 19. So, how how do we, we build in, in our estimate if we get this order? So, in Can terms of execution, you are not audible properly. One second. Sir, sir, I'm saying if you get if you get one of these orders of this size of 7,000 crores, so how do you basically factor in in your uh, execution and all? How do you do it? So first of all, like this, this big order, some of these orders will be going in JV. Oh, yeah. Okay. The proportion will be slightly less, like 50 or 60 percent of this. And uh, executing these projects of this size is absolutely <laughs> no issues for Jay Kumar. If you see, like, you know, we are already handling projects worth 5,000, 6,000 crores independently standalone. So, like, you know, this Metro Line 3, both the projects put together is almost 5,500 crores. Yeah. And we have been, like, we have completed almost 88, 90 percent of it. So it's very comfortable. We can, in fact, uh, handle a single project of 10,000 crores also. There's no issues. So you will be jointly. So so all, the, all these projects, you will have JVs in place, basically. Some of these projects. It depends on the size of the project and uh, what uh, the project is. 
like we are also bidding for the C, uh, C3 project also, which is for HSR of around 16,000 crores. So, uh, J Kumar, we are quite competent and with the excellent team of uh, J Kumar that we have, uh, bagging orders of 10,000 or 15,000 or single order is also not a challenge for us at all. The team is entirely geared up and ready to take up such works. But at our price. But in NCGM, what is the, our qualification? So, uh, in terms of like a single project, so what is the largest size we can bid? The largest size we can bid is standalone. Yeah, yeah. We can bid a project of around two to three thousand crores standalone, depending depending on the different departments, different qualification criteria, and we can take up for projects of 15, 10 to fifteen thousand crores and do it. That's absolutely no problem. MCGM does not stand, uh, does not have some different set of uh, qualification criteria. Though every department may uh, vary it uh, slightly from their department to de department, but the standing bidding document still remains the same. So uh, up till like two to three thousand crores single order uh, on a standalone basis, we have already bagged. If you see in the past, Mumbai Metro Line Nine is also of two thousand crore. Uh, Delhi Metro DC Zero Eight is sixteen hundred crores. Uh, our Varli Shivdi is around fourteen fifteen hundred crores. Our uh, uh, this what you call Mumbai Metro Line Two B is again of fourteen hundred crores. So uh, these are very regular size of jobs for which we qualify on a standalone basis now. No, so I'm more talking about this larger 67,000 crores. So here you will require a JV basically to qualify for bidding that. Yeah, because the conditions in the yeah. contracts are such where uh, there are different type of experiences that are asked for. So certain things, J. J. Kumar must be having certain we have to take, uh, go through uh, with the help of the joint venture partner. Yeah, so we'll be going JV. Yeah, right, Parichit. Yeah. And just lastly, sir, on the building segment, uh, so how is the pipeline shaping up there and... If we can just show some color on that. So it depends like uh, whether projects are coming up in that uh, particular uh, vertical. So we have very good credentials in building line by completing this uh, hospital buildings of 800 crores uh, standalone. So we can bid for 1,000, 1,500 crores our own. So we had bidded like, you know, four months, five months back, <coughs> for 900, but we could not succeed in that. So we are looking for good opportunities. But and we still backed a Siddharth hospital order of 300 plus crores, 325 crores. And we are also in the process of build, uh, bidding for other hospital buildings and uh, other building projects uh, in uh, Mumbai and outside. Just on the NHI, sir, we have not been seeing any uh, Jaikumar bidding uh, for the NHI project. So if you can just highlight how big is the pipeline now and are we looking to add more projects from NHI? NHA, of course, we are going with the bidding. So we had bidded for one Kochi project where we lose it by very, very thin margin. So we have bidded for some more additional NHA projects in Bihar also. And we are looking forward to quote more in NCR and other states. Okay. Okay, sir. And this last thing, one, what is the networking capital days uh, in Chief and WC? So right or, now it is uh, 130 days. And we are uh, focusing it to get down to 120 days. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you and wish you all the best. Thank you. We have the next question on the line of Vasudev from Nubama. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so I wanted to know the status of some projects like the Dwarka Expressway, Sidco Coastal Road Project and the Suraj Metro Project. Yeah, so the Sidco Coastal Road project is yet to take off. It is in the final leg of getting clearances. So like, you know, all the state governments have cleared it. It is now, uh, the hearing was supposed to be this week, but it's postponed to next week. So by March, uh, it should start positively. Coming to the Dwarka project, so Dwarka, uh, there were two packages. We coming to the two packages, we have completed around 70% of the work, but we have got some additional work of 464 crores plus GST. So looking to... All the three put together, uh, the project is completed to 60%. Uh, and so by this December, the entire project will be completed. Okay, and what's the status of the Surat Metro project, sir? So Surat Metro, uh, the work has been going on on two stations and the tunneling will be starting from next month. So we are expect, we have already done a, uh, uh, this uh, financial progress of close to around 17%. And uh, there was some land equation issues and one 
big building at Meditya Nagar uh, uh, station needs to be demolished because of which uh, the work had, had not been uh, uh, started for the tunneling as well. But both the TBMs are, uh, the fact test has been done and the TBMs are ready to be launched. So we, we got the permission last week from the uh, Gujarat government to start the tunneling work by bypassing that station. So now we should be in a position to start the tunneling from the next month. Okay, okay, sure, sir. And uh, have you received the appointed date for the aircon project yet? Yeah, we have received it on 19th Jan 2023. 19th. Okay, okay. And uh, lastly, sir, what would be our cash balance as on December? Cash and bank balances has been uh, uh, around uh, 31 crores uh, as cash and bank balance and uh, 32 crores or so and apart from that we have and fixed deposits of uh, 412 crores or so. Okay, that's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Saket Kapoor from Kapoor and Company. Please go ahead. Uh, Namaskar, sir. Sir you, sir, you mentioned the debt number, net debt number at 454 crore. Yes. Sir, when we look at your finance cost, uh, that is on a quarterly basis, uh, to the tune of 22 to 25 crore. So, could you provide the breakup uh, of what constitutes the fin uh, finance cost? This includes the interest cost and uh, BG commission and margin cost. Uh, the breakup, can you provide, sir? Yeah, yeah, one second. Yeah, just a second. Uh, for the quarter uh, three, there has been interest on borrowings at uh, 9.4 crores, uh, financial and other charges, include processing fees and etc. at 6.8 crores, and BG commission and LC charges being 5.9 crores, 5.9 crores, so totally to 22 crores. Okay. And sir, uh, if we take just our short term borrowing, what is the cost of fund? Cost of fund will be in the range of 9%, 9.5% 9, 9 or so uh, weighted average. Nine and a half percent. Okay, and so if we look at the last rating, uh, it was A1, A plus uh, that was done for by India rating. So uh, uh, with the improved financials, do we uh, do we have any uh, uh, rating upgrade in the annual that will lower the cost? And uh, even today, sir, the repo rate has been hiked. So now, uh, in any uh, many any chance of the interest rate going for down in the near term is not visible. So. So currently, uh, we don't have an upgrade uh, upgrade on rating, but it is uh, going on uh, as uh, it has to be assessed uh, as per yearly exercise. So it is going on uh, this rating exercise and uh, we'll uh, come up with a revised rating or whatever as and when it happens. So right now we are at A plus and we are hoping to get a notch higher. Okay. So, so then going ahead, this, this interest cost will, will, will be in line with what the rating is. Exactly. Yes. Sir, when we look at your employee benefit cost also, sir, as a percentage of sales, it's around seven and a half or eight percent. So going ahead also, this is the, going to be the trajectory, sir. Or, uh, and if you could give the breakup, how much is the fixed employee cost share and what is the variable part? No, sir, this yeah. is fixed only. The seven and a half to eight percent is fixed employee cost. And like uh, going forward also, we are looking uh, similar numbers. Like it will be marginally come down, like you know, because it is fixed, but we will be in the range of 7 to 8 percent. And, and so, when we look at the depreciation line item, it's around 113 14 crore for the nine months. So, what is the gross block, sir? Here, uh, uh, that we have for gross block is uh, uh, 883 crores uh, as uh, WDB of excesses, and uh, 60 crores is the CWIP, so 940 approx. Okay, and sir, uh, 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 any uh, any granular details you can provide of where where are these in, uh, investments totally into? I mean, this gross work consists of uh, pertaining and the life cycle of the equipment. So this is gross block. Uh, this uh, is all of our equipment, machinery, sending, shuttering, and all. So like you know, the life cycle is much more, but we uh, we consider it as per the company's pack. So it is around ten years, ten to eleven years. Right. Right. And last is about the the concentration. Uh, I think so. The uh, uh, out of the total order booking, uh, what 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 portion does the total order book uh, the top five clients constitute? 
sorry as on the the outsta- what is the our outstanding order book as on 31st december sir 11209 and uh, what is the client concentration here mane what what portion does the five top client contribute to the order book okay uh, uh, if, if i give you sector client wise, wise you want the client wise break up of this uh, order book y- yes sir top, yes sir top five client yes top five client so of course uh, uh, mmrda uh, dmrc nhei uh, ircon and uh, mmrc this may you can consider top 5 six clients so uh, value wise bata sakte hain uh, value wise this will be around 80% all the per- inside all okay and there was some mention about some ircon project uh, some which uh, which we got some in the month of january could you elaborate what what was you were trying to explain in the previous question in the call was what was our that was the date of appointment we were mentioning that the okay. order though we had got it in the month of uh, march somewhere but uh, okay. the date of appointment date has started in jan okay so what is what does that refer to sir if you could uh, so it is like the work uh, order date is that so you know our 30 months will be counted from first this 19th of jan 23 to uh, like plus 30 months for okay. to complete the project Okay, and what is the size of the order, sir? It's thousand fifty-eight crores plus uh, GST, excluding GST. This is right. like you know four point five uh, four-lane two tunnels. It's part of Bombay uh, Delhi Expressway, and this is part of like uh, Vadodara to JNPT section. It's called Mathuran Tunnel. So there was a uh, good uh, out as in terms of India Delhi for yesterday. Okay, sir. And what is our na- trade receivable number, sir? Eleven eighty-two. Eleven hundred eighty-two crores. And the uh, uh, cash conversion cycle? The working capital uh, cycle is one thirty days. One thirty days. Yeah, yeah, one thirty-two days. One hundred and thirty. One hundred and thirty. And any comparable number you can give, sir? Uh, last year or, or, or the average for 9 months september as on september last quarter then it was 128 days 128 days and for 9 months comparable you can give for december 21 and december 22 how was the average being and what can we improve here uh, so we can 9 months back to 9 like months 120 days is what we are looking at and the 9 month comparison is uh, 9 months was 135 days for the quarter it is 130 days and we wanted to bring it down to 120 days correct thank thank you sir sir for all all the answer and, and all the best thank you thank you we have the next question on the line of panjul agrawal from green portfolio please go ahead uh hello sir i just wanted to ask that have you opened the regional office in chennai uh, sorry ma'am come back no, we have not opened any regional office in chennai Okay, because we are planning to do so. So, so, so what are we doing to be, uh, you know, more cost effective in the new geographies that we enter? So, yeah, Ms. Manju, we are already working in, uh, like, Pan India, a lot of other states apart from Maharashtra. So, going and working in Chennai or Bihar and all is absolutely no issues to us because whatever size of projects we are putting there, I'm mm-hmm. not a, not of 200 or 250 crores, 300 crores. These are bigger ticket size projects, so wherein the fixed cost does not matter. And we don't open up any regional offices in different states when we take up jobs. Like we have been working in Gujarat and Delhi, uh, and as well as Rajasthan, UP for more than ten, uh, almost a decade now. But we haven't opened up any regional offices. We make uh, fully self-sufficient uh, project offices, and it is fully controlled from the head office at Mumbai. All right, sir. Okay, that's it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Participants who wish to ask a question may press star and one on your touchtone telephone. Participants who wish, wish to ask a question may press star and one on your touchtone telephone. We have the next question from the line of Rajesh Jain from Jinanand Research Analyst. Please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Uh, thank you for the opportunity and uh, congratulations for the good numbers. So my question is that what is the reason for increasing net working capital uh, by around 120 plus crores as compared to Q2 FI23. Uh, did it mean that your collections were lower than your uh, utilization, sir? 
Yeah, so receivables, if you say, which has gone up this year to uh, 1100 crores, and okay. out of that 450 crores, we have already received uh, till Jan end. Okay. Yeah. So, like you know, the whatever the major part is already received, so we'll, the rest will be received. So. That was the major reason of it. You're right. Okay. So okay. Okay. Got it. My next question is that, as you have said, that uh, for the current fiscal year, you will have a capex of around 150 crores, right? So, can you guide something like what will be your capex requirement for the next two fiscal year, and uh, when it will get moderate so that our asset turnover uh, uh, improves, ratio improves? So our capex, if you say, like you know, it was 100 to 150 per year. Because yeah. there is a maintenance capex of around 50 crores every year. Mm -hmm. So we are forecasting around 150 to 150, uh, sorry, 100 to 150 crores uh, every year. Yes, every year, okay. okay. And sir, uh, what will you, uh, like this, uh, when it will get moderated 150? Yeah, every that year. should be the max usually. Uh -huh. uh, because every year, some maintenance and some projects you get. So like we have bought this one TBM this year, which was added to 50 crores is part of that 150 crores. Okay. So I think, and also the existing TBMs that are that J Kumar owns, we have to okay. refurbish it when we relaunch it for any uh, tunneling Other job. side. Mm -hmm. So J okay. Kumar, we have got this Delhi Metro, Surat Metro, and Bombay. So okay. altogether, all seven machines will be in operation. So these same okay. machines we have to refurbish, and that's how the cat uh, this depreciation, incremental depreciation keeps happening. Okay. Uh, keeps right. 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 Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, and best of luck, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Mr. Rajesh. Thank you. That was the last question. I would now like to hand it over to the management for closing comments. Uh, I would like to thank once again to all of you for joining us on this call today. We hope we have been able to answer your queries. Please feel free to reach out to our CFO or IR team for any clarifications or feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you. On behalf of Jay Kumar Infra Projects Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.